Alright, so welcome back and gonna start to get into this um this head over here. So you guys have to do the UV mapping. Now first things first is we need to go and create a Lambert, put our texture in and assign the material to this model over here. I showed that in the last video. Next thing is we're gonna go to UV and we're gonna do a simple planar map first so we're gonna go to the option box and make sure it goes from the z axis now again this is different depending on how your model is facing so if the front of your model is facing this way so you should be pressing x axis instead right so depending on how your model is facing select the correct axis and then click on project all right now as i explained earlier the front part kind of looks okay you can actually kind of like adjust some of this a bit if you want to but you know, some of the sides over here looks very funny and then when we go to our UV editor right over here you can start to see only like the front part is available for us to you know paint you know if I want to paint the side I can't really get to the side you know it's like overlapping against each other so this UV map is still not correct alright but the reason why we do the planner map is so that we can have some of these faces inside the UV map area right so we haven't actually mapped it out but actually we have all the faces inside we just have to sort them out right if that makes sense now what we do next is we'll go to our UV over here now before I continue let me just show you some trick over here if I go to my outliner which is this one now I have two views over here I can actually kind of like left click and drag to change the size maybe I can close my attribute editor for now and from over here I can change it to panel and I can change it to actually something else alright so I'm gonna go and change this guy to my UV editor right so I have my UV editor on the left and my perspective work area on the right so it would be a bit more efficient okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to first select the edge where a seam is going to happen all right so i'm gonna start off very simply around the neck right over here so i just make sure i select the whole thing over here so i'm gonna tell maya that all these faces below this edge over here they're gonna be a separate thing and then i'm gonna cut i'm gonna tell maya that all right please don't have a seam at the center of the face have it at the back of the face so I'm going to select all of these edges over here or perhaps up to there I'm just going to select these two for now and I'm going to go to our polygon and I'm going to start to use our cut UV edges alright so nothing really happened it's okay so let's just go back to our object mode and then over here on our UV editor I can just zoom in and zoom out using my mouse button press and hold alt and middle mouse button to pan left and right alright so similar to what we have now if I go on to UV now UVs are like vertices it's just that instead of being yellow in color when selected it will be green in color alright so I'm gonna select some of this UV at the bottom over here just actually just like one of them and then if you press control right click to shell right you can actually start to move your neck away so telling Maya that hey the neck is a separate thing the head is a separate thing all right next thing is we'll start to unwrap this I'm not gonna care about the neck first I'm gonna do that later I'm gonna focus on the head first all right. All right, so I'm gonna go to UVs and I'm gonna start to click on some of these areas over here which is going to be a uh, what we call a pin uv alright so basically i'm telling maya to have these uvs these areas over here to be like an anchor point so i'm just going to select some of it over here right maybe i'll select one over here just make sure that it is um symmetrical right so if you select the right one make sure you select the left one as well 
couple more over here just one more over there and so I'm just going to select all these UVs over here and next thing I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to UV and then I'm going to go to my unfold option box right so for our starters let's go and reset the setting and what I want to make sure is I want to make sure the pin UV is checked and pin selected UV is checked on as well and we're going to click on apply right now Maya is going to give me this okay I'll just close this one now it's going to give me this very funny looking thing over here but at least now my UVs are unwrapped a bit more properly and I can start to see the side faces over here and if I bring this to photoshop I can actually start to paint on them it's just that we have two problems first problem is that as you can see some of these letters and numbers are bigger and some of them are much smaller so they're not really the right size so to speak and secondly we still have some of these overlapping faces over here alright so some of these things are actually overlap against each other alright and this would depend on your model and because this is an alien model and it has a very funny looking shape so we need to continue on to adjust and add a few more UV seams all around now for starters let's create a UV seam around the mouth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the edges around the mouth right over here right so I make sure I select all these border edges around the mouth over there and then I can go on and cut my UV edges right so if I go to UV and go to shell and put it out you see the inside of the mouth is over there so it's separated and then I can do another um, UV cut which is probably at the back over here I want to do a cut right across over here so it's gonna tell Maya that this part of the model separate this part oops this part here will be separate alright so again I'm gonna do a cut UVH and again I can take my UVs shell and spread them out so I have this part here and I have this part over here now still is still not exactly looking right you see some of these areas over here the idea is that yes if the face is around this size it kind of have to be around this size as well on the UV map so as you can see on my perspective view this is quite wide but this is actually quite small over here so that's why we have that stretching issue where some of these numbers is small and some of these numbers is big right so what we can do is we can go and select the UVs over here let's do the top part first and then we can go to tool and click on smooth UV now you see this icon here starts to appear as an unfold and relax so I'm just going to press and hold on my left click button over the unfold and drag it just a bit right so until it kind of unfolds my UVs and now just focus on the top part you can see that if you just inspect it all around you know the i9 b0 e5 whatever they kind of look like they are the same size all right so we don't have the problem that we have over here right this part here has not been unfold yet so this part here the problem is that all this b4 a5 whatever and e3 over here they are different size but the correct one right over here at the top where your h4 over here and your I1 over here for example they are more or less of the same size so you won't have that texture stretching happening alright so what we'll do is we'll select the faces oh sorry the UVs for the bottom part as well we'll make sure you select all the UVs and same thing we're gonna unfold it right and then start to see that right over here we get similar results right so d0 b0 whatever is kind of similar to the ones you have over here now again it doesn't have to be like a hundred percent accurate or anything like that but at least more or less the same size right so this two is more or less done so let's just go to shell and put them one corner right now let's go and focus on 
the neck since that's the easiest one to do so let me just cut the seam across here right same as how we do over there then just want to make sure that we go to polygon and we go and cut the UV edges then we go to UVs select these guys go to our tool and smooth UV unfold him right so you can see it's been unfolded okay and more or less they are pretty much the same size so he's done let's put him in one corner and then lastly we have this inside of right so I'm gonna go to UVs and I'm gonna start to click on some of these areas over here which is going to be a what we call a pin UV alright so basically I'm telling Maya to have these UVs these areas over here to be like an anchor point um, again it's not it's not really a big issue over here we can just leave it alone as well if you want to because it's, it's the things that's happening over here inside the mouth but if you really want to what we can do is we can start to select the edge let's let's look it from the inside over here right so you can start to select some of the edges over here right which is this edge over here and from this side here if I go to the edge be this edge as well over here but let's just select this one for now um, sometimes you might find it a bit hard to select somehow Maya has some buggy issues doesn't allow you to select the edges over here now if you just come across that problem it's okay just select it on your perspective view instead right so you can select these two edges over here and what we can do is I can same thing I can cut the UV edges into my UV into my shell and start to move this guy out right so there are two separate objects and again I can start to go to my smooth UV unfold this guy and put my shell for him so make sure I go back here and then smooth the UVs again so for him I have to do separately because I've cut an edge over there and again same thing over here right so we're more or less done right so we cut the whole UVs over here now what we want to do is that as you can see over here I have one two three four five six pieces uh, these are what we call islands Alright, and as best as we want to, we want to reduce the number of islands that we have. So, if we reduce the number of islands, means we kind of reduce the number of seams that we have. But, not all islands can be combined. Like, for example, if I to try to combine these two over here, where the seam is right over here, I can't really do that because if I have to do that, then it has to go all around here, and then if it does go all around here, then some of these faces might be stretched out and not be in the correct size right so for this case over here um, I just have to live with it and have them to be different islands and have a seam over here and that's something I have to take note later on when I do my texturing but for the neck over here if I select the edges over here right so for the neck all these areas around here I can actually put them together right because they are pretty much aligning up to each other so these edges and these edges they are actually the same edge right so what we can do is we can go ahead and tell Maya to please move and sew the selected edges so it will move this guy up here and sew them right so that's what happens over here now, it might be a bit hard to see but some of these numbers and stuff like that they change their size and for this particular case it's not really an issue because it's not really a big change but if you want to you can go to the shell and then do the same thing again smooth the UV and unfold just a bit so it'll be more or less the same size throughout now for these guys over here um, as you can see these two edges over here they are pretty much the same so Sometimes Maya will have this problem if you 
use the UV and then you can select your age again so what, what you can do is just maybe sometimes you can just delete the history center revert freeze transformation then you should be able to select the age again and this part here we can move and sew them together and go to the shell one two we can actually press E and we can kind of like rotate it around as well right so I might want to put him in one area over here right so the head is more or less done okay so that wasn't too bad right I mean if you go through the traditional way you have, you have a lot of things to do right so what we can do next is start to do for the body the legs and maybe the eyes and the belt if you want to alright so let's continue to the next video